Hello from Florida. If you are going to the Alumalina this fall in North Carolina, my husband just called to talk to them and they said the campground survived just fine from the hurricane, then you might want to know that uh, we're going to be there with some pottery. Many of the pieces I made specifically for the Alumalina. Uh, these are just a few of the uh, general repeat wear type of pieces that I'll be bringing with me. Um, I made a lot of little medallions so that folks and kids could take something home with them to say that they were at the Alumalina. Some actually say Alumalina on them and some are just little pictures of airstreams. And I made maybe three or four of these nice big tr um, serving oval trays. This one says Alumalina and it says 2018 on it with four trailers. That's going to go to the man who coordinated this whole rally. That's going to be his gift. So if you're watching, that's what you get. Surprise. <laughs> and of course, salsa servers. Um, Trinket trays. These are just pressed. Poppy. Poppy. Leave it, Poppy. Oh boy, here he goes. Let's see me discipline my dog. Poppy. Stop. Poppy. Come. Good, come. Come on. Good boy. All right, you be quiet. Go with Daddy. Maybe Daddy has foodies. Go see. Come. 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 <laughs> um, I did a chip and dip. It's a small chip and dip because when you're in an airstream and you're camping and it's cocktail hour, you certainly don't want to bring some giant thing. So these aren't attached, but they do coordinate. And the dip bowl is a picture of the state of North Carolina with a little airstream up in the upper left hand corner that marks the spot where we're camping. So I think that might be fun for folks. Like I said, a fun uh, trinket keeper. It's a slab roll. I uh, put a piece of a two by four down into it in a, in a piece of a sponge and then hand decorated the sides. Something for the ladies probably, for the jewelry that you can easily easily tuck into a drawer when you're traveling. And then little spoon rests and things. Anything with an airstream on it is cool. I made a few sponge holders. When I make a sponge holder, I make it very rounded here and there. And uh, I do little feet. So the sponge itself is held out of the bottom by about a quarter of an inch so it'll dry and it's big enough to hide the sponge. These I put turtles on. I made some little lidded containers. I call them my little puzzle boxes because if you don't if you don't line up the two little pieces it won't the lid doesn't look right. <laughs> That's always fun. And I got this idea for the coffee pour overs from John the Potter. Um, it makes sense for him to do them because he owns a coffee shop. And it makes sense for me because when you're camping, if you don't have electricity, you need a way to make yourself a cup of coffee. And if you don't like percolated coffee on your gas stove, then you can boil your water on your gas stove or on your um, fire, your big barbecue fire in the fire pit and then you can pour the water over the coffee so I must have made a dozen of those some with a matching mug and some without and of course mugs 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 I have a whole lot of mugs and spoon rests whether it was a teeny weeny little spoon rest like that for a air streamer or something a little bigger I made some even bigger than that, too, where I just impressed a spoon. I got that idea from one of my students. And the colors I'm using for this trip are primarily Frosted Turquoise by Standard Ceramic, 
over Pippin Green by Laguna. And the overlap is just beautiful. Um, frosted blue matte, a little bit of Albany slip, and a little bit of Arctic blue. Um, the frosted blue matte, I don't know who makes it, but Albany slip and Arctic blue are both Potter's Choice. And this beautiful green combination is standard ceramics pale seaweed over standard ceramics mottled green transparent. That's all that is. Comes out really pretty. And the dark blue never fails me. It's Potter's Choice Indigo Float over Laguna's Turkish Amber. So I do the whole thing in Turkish Amber and then I put the blue where I want it and it gives it this really nice breaking dark blue but not overwhelming. So those are really the colors that I'm going to be using this year primarily. There's a few other colors I might experiment with but most of the things I make will be these colors. So what I have here is a smattering. Gosh, I don't know, I think I've made like eight chips and dip, maybe a half a dozen oval platters, maybe a half a dozen trinket trays, maybe eight salsa servers, maybe a couple dozen mugs, maybe eight coffee pour-overs, probably a dozen spoon rests. But when you add it all up, boy, it adds up to a lot of pieces. And also um, made a few, get ready to pack, have a few larger pieces. There's still some in the pottery waiting to be glazed. You know, these are like five pound pieces. So they're what, 10 inches tall, 10 inches wide, something like that. And I did some perfect wine cups that I experimented with glazes on. So I made a half a dozen of them and then I pinched them and squeezed them and altered them. So those will be fun. I have a few Christmas things. I'll have a few more. Oh, I can't turn my kit, my tablet. <laughs> this is new to me, using a tablet. If it's all wobbly, you'll never see this. Um, yeah, I'll make a few more of these. And then um, I've got what's here and another probably 60 pieces that need to be glazed. This is very popular, this color, with air streamers. And the green was very popular last time I did this. The light blue wasn't as popular. So I'm going to do what the people like. Uh, what else? I'm in my new house. I'll do a video of my new house later. Grandma's food dogs. <laughs> Tell you a story about all these things later. Okay, get ready for Illuminata. Thanks for watching.